Right, it's that time of the show where we find out whether we'll be facing food heaven or food hell. Food heaven, of course, is coconut. Food hell, of course, is squid. Didn't look good earlier. <laughs> didn't, didn't, but I'm, it, However, you know, we've got to ask the guys. Uh, and they get double heaven, votes, yeah. don't they? Uh, you wish, because they chose one each. Uh, but it still made it 5-2, so that's what you got. You've got squid. Um, and I'm hopefully going to try and convince you that this is right, because the way that you we cook squid in particular... We need that one. We're taking that one back. Where are you going with this one? We need all these. Oh, yeah, Where are you going with these one? We need these. <laughs> taking this, them all away. This we don't need, so there you go. We're just going to left with a pile of squid. Yeah, well, uh, you've got plenty so of room to work. The idea of this with squid, you've got to cook it as quick as possible or slow. Right. right. So that's the two choices. Right, what I'm going to do, first of all, is make the... Uh, we're going to prep the squid over there. And first of all, what we're going to do is toast off the peppercorns. Now, we've got black peppercorns and Szechuan peppercorns. Uh -huh. right? And then these are going to get ground. So we just literally just lightly toast them off just to get some of the flavour in there. All right. And then straight into the pestle mortar, which you can see them smoking away in there, some salt. And then what we're going to do is grind these down into a powder. And that's going to be mixed with these breadcrumbs. These are called panko breadcrumbs, which are like these little Japanese crumbs. The sauce for this is this. So you stand back at this one. We've got vinegar going in. Nice white vinegar. We've got sugar. Very quickly, we make a syrup. All right, so that's the sugar and rice wine vinegar in there, straight in. We then grab some chilli, red chilli. Of course, you can use green chilli with this one. Green chilli is often done with fish, but a um, bit of red chilli. We'll throw that in. Seeds and everything, because we want the heat of this more than anything else. You may want the heat. I yeah, know, that's the whole idea of food hell, <laughs> isn't it, really? But <laughs> it was the definitely's that worried me. Yeah, well, it, wasn't no, exactly, it was yeah. definitely hell. There was no acting there, yeah, was there? Yeah. Straight in. So we've got flour, egg and breadcrumbs. Now, this is what we call to pane, all right? So if you see what Sean's doing over here, we basically just use the, the, the weight of the knife to score the, the, the fish. It just makes these little incisions inside the fish to actually tenderise it a little bit more and then when we cut it, you see those little, oh, little lines? Yeah, yeah. So it's easier to eat. So rather than it being ah, right. chewy, if we do overcook it, which we won't do, but that's the way to stop it. So um, pickling liquor. I'm going to take some vinegar, sugar, and salt. All right? So this is for the pickled cucumber. So vinegar, salt, and sugar. Ooh. That's just boiling away nicely. Right, there's your little... Um, mixture with the Szechuan and the black pepper and the breadcrumbs. These breadcrumbs you can buy. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, like I said, these are, these are Japanese-style crumbs, which are basically just they bake the bread and then shave it. So it's Japanese um, bread? Or... Well, yeah, they yeah. make these little crumbs, which it is, you, they actually import them. But um, they're, they're, they're Shavings, amazing. isn't it? Yeah, they're shavings right, of bread. Yeah, rather right. than just blend bread, um, which is a different sort of texture, these, they just shave them nicely. So we're going to get take our cucumber here and make... These little, uh, well, we call them Parisian scoops. You just make the cucumber. And they're good for this because you get the pickle, but you don't want the, the central part of the seeds, which contain the most amount of water. Mm -hmm. So for this little pickle, you keep it nice and light. That's the sugar, salt, and vinegar. Yeah. Because normally when you're doing pickled onions, you need to leave them for about sort of a good three months before they're ready. How are we doing, guys? Good, yeah. yeah. Good. Got about two and a half minutes left. Fine. There you go. And then we do pour this liquor over the top. And they sit there. Instant pickling. That's it. It's instant pickling. You can do that with turnips. Uh, we do this in the restaurant with turnips and radishes mm -hmm. as well. Same, same sort of thing. Uh, touch of lime juice, which we can use as well. A bit in the liquor, which is that one, and a bit in this sauce. You just keep reducing this sauce down and it will get thicker and thicker into this sort of uh, nice sticky chilli sauce. So they're going to go straight in the fryer. Nice and simple. There we go. We've got uh, this little coriander crisp, which you can explain. This is that trendy sort of stuff now, isn't it, really? A bit of julienne of that, please. Julienne, yeah. Yeah. These little sort of coriander crisps, you get a lot of these micro leaves now. And uh, there's, a, there's a, a big difference in flavour. Um, they do little, it's almost like how they grow, like salad crisps, you know, that little mustard crisp? Oh, yeah. They've got a similar sort of way, but when you taste it, you get a real, Ooh, real strong. hit. Very, very, very strong. You get a real hit of of coriander, and you get all different sort of different micro classes. Mm -hmm. In Holland, I know, because you can literally masses, masses of, yeah. and the leaves and all manner of different sort of great flavours. Julienne of that I wanted, really, but you can do that way. Well, julienne, do it? Oh. Yeah. I bet you're not going to use that, <laughs> are you? Well, I just wanted that, there you go. I am going to use them. Are you going to use it? 
Right, you can keep this as well, so that reduces down nicely. <laughs> right, the pickle, like I was saying, you can allow this, you can do this with radishes as well, these breakfast radishes, which are good. Uh, the elongated radishes, you cut them in half into quarters and just pop them in this instant pickle. But rice wine vinegar or white wine vinegar for that one. And um, slice turnips and slice shallots, really nice and simple. Right, look at this squid, look. Done, just need some salt. Easy as that. Ooh. Good. Tempt yourself so Well, I'll, um... <laughs> <laughs> You're not here, I'll, right? I'll, buy, I'll, I'll reserve judgement. You're not here, but the idea of this is, is this, this, this thing, the secret about squid is to make those lines on the top, it tenderises it even more. Yeah. But it's quick or slow, so... If you're going to do squid and you're going to cook it, then cook it with tomatoes, like Moroccan solid sort of style, and then for a long time. You normally do that with octopus and, and that kind yeah, of stuff. Very right, slow. So one of, yeah, very slow. But the this other. one, very, very fast. Extremely fast. And that's why stir-fry cooking, all that kind of stuff, is particularly good to do this. Can you drain those? Drain them off. And we're going to take the squid. Put all them on there. there you want them? You just, just flick them around. You're the chef sort of drizzle. <laughs> That's <laughs> a pick on Brindy. Sort of <laughs> well, the difference between the way I do it and he does it is 30 quid, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but a little bit of that on there. And then you've got this, this liquor, and this is the key to this thing. It's, it's got a real kick to this. Um, and with the Szechuan pepper and everything else, but you pop this. A plate of that in a beer would be nice, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, great. It, it is kind of, dare I say, when I, when I sort of decided I was going to do this this week, it is a chef -y sort of... They will like this sort of thing, but a few bits of spring onions over the top, and then you've got some of this coriander cress over the top of there. Uh, but you can, you, they're starting to get this in the shops now, touch of lime with it as well, but we just squeeze over the lime over the top. top. Mainly over my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Super. What do you reckon? Here we are. Well, I, it, it does look great. <laughs> it does look great. <laughs> There's a butt somewhere, isn't there? Because I know you don't like the, the spiciness of the pepper as well, the, pe the peppercorns and the chilli, so yeah, there's everything yeah. and, that and you, you absolutely hate And, and you've got car coriander in there as well, which is not my uh, top of my list either. Yeah, we've got coriander in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks. But try it okay. tell, tell us what you think. You might need the knife there, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The strips are quite long. Well, because it's going to be very rubbery, you mean? No, so they're not going to be very rubbery. rubbery. <laughs> I think I understand the health thing with, with squid because it, it can be tough sometimes. Yeah. If you cook it right, it's the most yeah. beautiful thing right. you, you can eat. Okay. It really is. Fast or slow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it is. But I understand that. People go for hell on squid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, Actually, that's, 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 you see? Yeah. That's pretty He's a good actor as well. Pretty, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you don't it's, really want to delicious. like it. But <laughs> no, it's, it's very good. It's certainly not well, rubbery. You have to. It's it not is. rubbery. Yeah. It is exactly right. To go with this, Peter has chosen a finest. Style Lager Riesling, uh, priced at uh, six pound ninety nine. It's two thousand and ten. Another great wine today. I have to say, we've got some great stuff great, on the show. But if you didn't like the sort of the, the, maybe the little Szechuan or anything is a little bit too much. But it is nice and simple. Food, isn't it? Mm. It's proper cooked food. Cooked very very quickly. I think that's the key to all squid. Like you say, this is a lot of people's food hell. But when you try it like that, I think it it'll turn and convince most people round. Definitely happy with that. Very good. And best of luck on the new nice. series of Silent Winners. Thank which you very remember, much. Which remember, out you now. Uh, well, that's all for today on Sassy Kitchen Live. Thanks to Brim Williams, Sean Rankin, of course, uh, William Ganimer. Uh, please cheers to Peter Richards for the wine choices. And remember, nice. all of today's recipes are, of course, on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. We'll be back live next week at the usual time at 10 o'clock. In the meantime, don't forget there's another edition of our Best Bites programme. That's tomorrow at 10 o'clock over on BBC Two. That's it. Have a great rest of the weekend. Bye for now.